What's going on everybody? I'm Anthony Vincent and I'm the voice of 10 Second Songs. Right now we're here at the CBGB set in the YouTube space in New York, New York, and we're joined with none other than Papa Roach. Guys, give it up for Papa Roach right here. Their new album, Fear, will be released on January 27th, and today they're giving us an exclusive acoustic performance showcasing some of those songs. Guys, could you tell us what song you'll be playing first? Face Everything and Rise. All right, cool. So here we go. Let's kick it off. I hope you guys like it. That was awesome. So we're going to get into a Q&A right now from Twitter and Facebook. But first, I'm going to ask the first question. So this new album, it was uh, recorded in Las Vegas, correct? Yes. So, uh, Jacoby, I want to ask you, how would you describe the contrast of um, what it meant to, to like, it, recording it in Sin City and how it relates to the album? Well, you know, that was essentially the last place I wanted to go record a record. You know, we did the record before at our studio in Sacramento. We kept calling the producer. I'm trying to come up with reasons not to come to Vegas. I'm like, it's too dry, man. I just got vocal surgery. It's too dry out there. He's like, we got humidifiers, man. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh. you know. And everybody else in the band was down to go to Vegas. I was just kind of the last one that wasn't wanting to go. And you know, I've been clean for almost a couple years at that point. And you know, it was just like, man, I gotta go to Vegas and make a record, like that of all places, you know. And and I guess like me kind of facing that fear of going to the place of like some of my worst decision making in my life and going to Las Vegas and f coming out on the other side like a stronger person, you know, it was just like, it was a crazy experience for me, you know what I'm saying? And being in that city made us 
more focused on our record than we ever have been before out yeah. of any record we've ever recorded. You know, the city with the most distractions was the city that we were most focused in. I, I really don't think that we could have made the same record if we didn't go there, you know what I'm saying? Because it was just something magic was happening there and, and, it, and it gave us a savage beast of a record. So we're very happy we went there. Uh, I believe this is from Facebook. Uh, Tanya Beers asks, uh, what Papa Roach song is most gut-wrenching emotionally for you to perform and why? On this record in particular, um, a track called Gravity for me because it was just like, I just laid it all out there and it really doesn't paint myself in a very nice picture. It speaks of my failures as a husband, you know, and a, as, a, as a friend. I feel that when I tap into that stuff and make myself vulnerable and open, it's when we connect deepest, you know, on the deepest levels with our fans. It's just trippy how, like, if you're just brutally honest about what you're going through, instead of putting up a front, you'll find that you're not alone in, in what you're suffering with or what you're going through or what you're dealing with, you know? So it definitely, uh, that track really humanizes me <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a not so fantastic light. All right, so we got a question right now from Taylor. Uh, where is she? Is she? Taylor, okay. okay. Hello. Hi, Taylor. Go ahead. If you guys had to choose just one song, it doesn't have to be your song, that's the most inspirational to you, which song would you choose and why? Man, one song. I, I, like, uh, first thing that comes to my mind is I always hear certain Bob Marley songs that just, they just speak to the whole world and they speak to me and they always make me feel better. Mm -hmm. Like, I could pick a lot of different Bob Marley songs, but just any one of us. Trying to pick one is really hard. <laughs> yeah, how do you pick your um, favorite Bob Marley song? It's nearly impossible. <laughs> Oh man, you don't want to shoot the sheriff, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No. <laughs> like that. That's not that one. But. I'll go ahead and say uh, Money, Pink Floyd. Oh, that's okay. a good one. Okay. Right. We'll stick with that's that right. one. That's good. I'm good with that. Okay. <laughs> I'll second his answer. Okay. <laughs> so, Courtney Eisenhardt, this is from Facebook. She goes, I named my daughter Jocelyn Cosette Shaddix Thompson, pre married name. Does it freak you out when people honor you like that? It is a trip when you meet people that, that I named my baby after you, or I, we met two girls in a meet and greet, and uh, they named their dog, they named their dogs, uh, one named Shaddix, and then the other dog after my son, Brixton. So I have a dog named Brixton and a dog named Shaddix. Man, as long as your baby's cute, you can name him after me. <laughs> <laughs> if he's ugly, don't name him Kobe. <laughs> Sorry. All right, okay, so we have uh, Marissa Hamby uh, Jacoby. I, I know you have three boys. What is your favorite age? Do you and your wife want to have more, and would you want to have a girl? I thought you were going to ask me which one was my favorite kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be because I have one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I got three lovely little boys. I got uh, Mikhail's 12, Jagger's 10. Uh, Brixton is, uh, I think, like 17 or 18 months. Me and my wife were trying to have a girl, and uh, we did all, like, you can, like... I don't know, like when the wind's blowing, you know, <laughs> when the wind's blowing that way and it's 82 degrees and the sun's over there, you know, you're supposed to get after it and you'll have a girl. Well, we did all those kind of like old wives' tales and, and you ended up had an, having another little baby boy, which is cool, but I'm done. <laughs> uh, who do you run the demos by? Uh, do your families get to hear incomplete tracks? I always play stuff from my, from my wife and see what she said, just because she's from a completely different perspective. So if she likes something, I'm like, okay, cool, that. Yeah, at least I know. <laughs> I know I know it's good when I when I'll be working on something, a melody, or you know, I'm playing one of the songs back and I'll hear uh Jagger, he's like my middle son, he's like all musical. If I hear him later in the day kind of humming it, I'm like, all right, he caught that. Like, you know, instead of like, what do you think? You know, mm -hmm. and I'll catch him humming a couple of the tunes, and that's that's always a good sign. My brother who's out with us too, he's like the one that we run a lot by too, like we think he always gives us the cool cool ideas, the cool credit of something's worthy or not. That was Papa Roach. The new album, Fear, is out right now. If you want to check out the other two performances and the Q&A segments, you can click right here for that. And to subscribe to the 11.7 Music Channel, click here. I'm Anthony Vincent, and I'm the voice of 10 Second Songs. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah.